comic friends and fiends it's rob and i got a quick mail call this was actually kind of one of those things where i had ordered something on ebay got the item in the side was a card from the people they apparently have a regular shop or whatever and uh offering you a discount if you go to their shop and buy direct from them right because then they don't have to pay ebay seller fees etc etc i thought the hell it was you know it was like 10 percent off i said let me go check the shop and see what they got and they had a couple had a couple books there that i thought i'd pick up they're kind of like it was almost like it was really kind of like dollar bin shopping the most expensive uh book i i picked up you'll see here i'm going to go through these uh was a pair of books for 7.99 so we got some what i think are some pretty good values here and of course uh leave a comment down below and tell me what you thought did i do you think i did okay or should i have passed and not spent this money at all i don't know we'll see i think it's pretty good um, and if you like the content here, uh, make sure you hit the like button, help promote the material, um, to other people. So let's go. Here we go. Amazing Spider-Man number one. So this is volume four, the 2014. So this is the first, uh, cameo appearance of Cindy Moon, uh, Letter B Silk. I paid $2.99 for this book, uh, and it's uh, listed as being in near mint condition, and it's not going to pull a 9.8, but it's definitely a 9.4 to a 9.6 uh, for $2.99. So, there you are. Uh, these two books, the Harley Quinn uh, Rebirths of... Uh, uh, Issue one, this cover, uh, you got the black and white and the variant cover, the set of these uh, for $7.99 for the set. So uh, those, and those are, uh, again, near mint condition, and they look like that's definitely the case from a tertiary glance. Hey, right. the Amazing Spider-Man 692. Uh, this is the first appearance of the Alpha Wolverine. Uh, to be honest, I couldn't tell you diddly squat about the Alpha Wolverine. I assume it's from another universe or something. But hey, Amazing Spider-Man 692, uh, $2.99. Again, near mint condition. All of fact, all but one of these is supposed to be um, here. This is the other one. It's in near mint condition. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 655. Uh, this was uh, $3.99. Um, and this looks to be in pristine condition, uh, for especially all that white cover and everything. So that's beautiful. And the last book, this is the only one that was listed as very fine to near mint. So, uh, probably a 9.092. And this is Amazing Spider-Man 603. Uh, you know, from that run there to that 601, 602, 603, had some unique covers. Uh, this one, Mary Jane's got a little bit of a funky face on her, but I don't know. It was like... Well, those things, I paid 99 cents. 99 cents for the book. There you are. Some amazing Spider-Man goodness and some Harley Quinn, all totaled with my discount. Uh, it was $15.16. Uh, $5 in shipping. So $20.16 for uh, that six books. I think I did okay. Let me know what you think down below. Which is your favorite? Did I overpay for anything? I don't think so. But if you think I did, tell me down below. Otherwise, uh, until next time, guys, collect what you want. Don't listen to anybody else. Don't let them tell you what you should or shouldn't collect. Especially me. I'm just a fat man with a fat stack of comics and a fat opinion. Thanks for watching.